Hey gamers, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how I made $5,000 playing in the Sandbox Alpha Season 1. If you're new to crypto, this may sound too good to be true to you, but in the world of crypto, these numbers aren't strange at all. There are a lot of people, especially early adopters, who make easily millions of dollars just for participating in a crypto project. And so today, I'll be talking to you about how I earned 5,000 US dollars and how I could have earned even more. Before we get into it, if this is your first time on the channel, we're super glad to have you. On this channel, we break down all your play to earn blockchain games and give you all the info you need to play, win and earn. Be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any opportunities in this play to earn space. Also, stick around till the end of the video where I'll tell you what to do to stand a chance of being a part of the Sandbox Season 2, where you too could earn this life-changing amount of money. First off, what is the Sandbox? The Sandbox is one of the latest play-to-earn games to gain a lot of attention from gamers and investors. As the name implies, the Sandbox is whatever you want it to be. It's a metaverse of limitless possibilities, really. In the words of the developers, it is a user-generated content ecosystem. What they have created is a system that rewards investors, gamers, and game makers. First, you have the investors. Anyone can be an investor by being a landowner. Of course, you can simply buy the sand token on an exchange, but being a landowner comes with a lot more benefits. Basically, your land is able to create more sand tokens for you. To go through it briefly, you can stake your sand on your land to earn more sand rewards as well as other NFTs. You can create games or experiences on your land and monetize them. Or you can rent out your land to game creators to use for their games. As a game creator, you can create experiences as well as in-game assets that can be sold on the Sandbox marketplace for a good profit. As a player, you earn sand tokens for competing in game quests and activities. So you see, unlike other play to earn games, the Sandbox is really creating a way for everyone to earn. This project is still in its early stages and so I think this is the perfect time for anyone looking to get into the project. You can choose whichever investment option suits you the best, but I highly recommend looking into the sandbox and deciding if it's worthwhile investment for you. As a disclaimer, I will say that nothing I say in this video or on my channel is financial advice and you should study each project by yourself to ultimately make the decision on investing your money or your time. But to give you an idea how profitable some people have been in the sandbox, if you bought a piece of regular land in the sandbox in February of 2021, you bought it for around $300. Fast forward to now, you'd be selling that regular piece of land for nothing less than 3 Ethereum. That's roughly $12,000 and more than $11,000 profit. Insane! So let's talk about Sandbox Alpha. As I already mentioned, this game is still in early development. If you have some knowledge of software development and release, then you'll recognize the name Alpha. This refers to the first testing version of the game, and that's what has just happened. In order to get feedback from real players and further iterate on the entire system, they opened up a small portion of their gaming world with a few unique experiences for players to enjoy. There were a total of 19 experiences available, 5 of which were accessible to everyone, while the remaining 14 were only accessible to those with an alpha pass. The alpha pass was basically your key to earning real rewards in this first playable version of the game. Without an alpha pass, your experiences were limited and you could not earn any rewards. There were a total of 5,000 alpha passes created by the developers. 
each Alpha Pass holder was allowed to earn a maximum of 1,000 sand tokens, along with three unique in-game assets or NFTs. There will only ever be 5,000 of these assets, and in the world of crypto, and even in the real world, scarcity leads to an increase in value. To put this in perspective, at the time of recording this video, there are 88,000 wallets, or you could call them people holding sand tokens in their wallets. This means that if you own one of these NFTs, you're among the 6% of wallet owners who have it. And that is rare. This means that you can afford to sell these assets for a very attractive price. Out of the 5,000 passes available, 1,000 were reserved for landowners to win through a raffle draw. This was kind of like a reward to the early investors in the project. This was done before the alpha commenced on November 29th of 2021. And when the alpha started, the remaining 4,000 passes were then given out daily through social contests and lucky draws. The last way to get a pass was by buying it on the OpenSea marketplace from anyone who won one and decided to sell. I do not own any land in the sandbox and so I did not qualify for an early alpha pass raffle. And so I was actively involved in the social contest to try to win an alpha pass. And let me tell you, I was praying hard to get one of these passes. The contests themselves were not hard at all. All you were asked to do was go to a certain point within the game and take a photo or a video and post it in the comments under the Twitter posts made by the official Sandbox Twitter. Then fill out a form linked to the post and you would enter the draw for the day. But you had thousands of people participating in these draws every single day. So luck played a huge part in getting a pass. I participated in the contest for over a week before eventually getting one. Now, pause. A word of warning to anyone new to crypto watching this video. There are an insane number of scammers within the crypto com community. And so you really have to double, triple, be careful with any actions you take. A lot of people were duped by fake emails informing them they've won an alpha pass. Some were even privately contacted on Telegram and Discord by scammers and naively gave out their wallet details and their funds were drained. To make things worse, a lot of fake alpha passes were being sold on OpenSea and a lot of people fell victim to these scams. So please guys, you have to be very careful. A rule of thumb here in crypto is that no genuine admin for any official group will send you a message first. So if you get a private message, then it's most likely a scam. Be alert and don't fall victim. Now, back to our topic of the day. So after I finally got the alpha pass, it was time to earn those rewards. The tasks were very, very easy. I'm going to be uploading my playthrough of all the sandbox experiences here on the channel so if you'd like to see what they were like, make sure you click the bell icon so you get notified once we upload. You only needed to complete the special quests called alpha quests in the game in order to level up and earn your rewards for each level. Reaching level 5 meant you had fully completed the alpha and earned 1000 sand and 3 NFTs. And it was that simple. The alpha ended on the 20th of December, and the same day, all alpha pass holders were able to claim their rewards straight to their wallet. I personally sold my sand tokens on the same day at a price of $5 to 1 sand, walking away with roughly $5,000. But just a few days later, the token rose to $6.8 to one sand token. And that, my friends, is how I could have made more. By simply holding on to my tokens, they would now be worth almost $7,000. But that's okay. I'm at peace with my decision and won't cry too much. 
I already invested in some sand tokens before partaking in the alpha because I believe in the project. So nothing lost here. Now, some of you who may be new to crypto may be wondering why the developers would give out 5 million of their tokens for free. And you could be asking, is this really real? Simple answer is, yes, it is real. Why do they do this? Again, simple answer, publicity. It is very common in the world of crypto for projects to allocate certain amounts of their native token for marketing and publicity or giveaways just like these. The amount of attention that was generated from this alpha would not have been the same without the rewards incentive. This attracted a lot more people to the project and with attention comes money. And the Sandbox has some very significant partnerships already in place. Looking at their partners on their official site, you see big names like Snoop Dogg, The Walking Dead, Adidas, and Atari. Even looking at their game map, you can see that even Binance and CoinMarketCap have purchased lands within the Sandbox to be used however they choose. To give you an idea of just how much attention was generated, on the day the alpha was opened, the Sandbox website was overloaded with traffic and had to go offline for a few hours to find a way to handle all of the requests their servers were getting flooded with. Thousands of people wanted to play the game. Remember that these tokens are created by the development team and so they decide how much of it they want to use for incentives and giveaways. This information is usually made public in their official documentation, which a lot of people don't read, but which I highly recommend for any project you're interested in. You simply have to read their white paper to know what you're in investing in. I'm saying all these for all the doubters watching this and saying, yeah, whatever, it's all fake. Because next, I'm going to tell you what to do to get into the alpha season 2. Yes, there will be a season 2, where the creators has, have announced that there will be more rewards to be given out. Remember friends, if you don't take a shot, you're never going to score. This could be that chance you've been waiting for. First thing you want to do is go to their official website. Link is down below in the description. You have to make sure you're following them on all their social channels. From my experience, Twitter is usually the first to get the latest updates before they get pushed to Telegram and Discord. But do follow them all to stay up to date. Second, you'll want to create your own sandbox account. Link is also down in the description below. Full disclosure here, that is a unique link that will allow me to earn 10% of whatever you pay when you make a purchase on the Sandbox Marketplace. But you will not need to purchase anything to sign up or to play in the alpha. And finally, you definitely, definitely want to subscribe and turn on notifications because I will be putting out more videos informing you of not just the upcoming Alpha Season 2, but also other earning opportunities within the sandbox as well as other play to earn games. The date for Season 2 of the Alpha has not been announced yet, but you'll be one of the first to know if your notifications are on. And as they say, sharing is caring. So share this video with your friends and family because the crypto space is big enough for all of us. We can all make it here. Don't be stingy with information. Trust me, someone you know needs this. That's it from me today. As always, if you found value in this video, hit that like button. That's how we know we bring you good content and it definitely goes a long way to help the channel grow. Over the next few days, I'll be uploading my playthrough of the entire Sandbox experience. I'll link it in the description when it becomes available. And until next time, stay safe and earn on gamers, you deserve it.